Hey, welcome to another series on 10 minutes of useless animals information. People who come from different areas around the world tend to speak with accents, fluctuations and patterns that are specific to their home regions. Apparently the same can be said for whales. We have found evidence that seems to show whales in the Caribbean have a different accent than whales in other oceans. The ocean is vast and has many weird creatures. some a little more weird than others like the starfish if a starfish is split into five pieces so long as each piece contains part of the central disk then the five starfishes will survive also starfish have no brains and no blood and they ain't even a fish instead they are echinoderm which are closely related to sea urchin now starfishes aren't the only weird aquatic creature Jellyfish are quite weird too. Jellyfishes can evaporate in the sun as they are made of 98% water. When they wash ashore, they can disappear after just a few hours as their body promptly evaporates into the air. When we think of camels on the other hand, we generally don't associate them with a lot of water, and it's true. They can stay for days without water. In fact during winters they can survive even up to 6 or 7 months without water but when they do find a source of water camels will drink as much as 50 liters they will even drink salty water unlike other mammals in the desert water sources are often a rare sight due to which some desert animals have learned to adapt camels are definitely desert water warriors Yet another such incredible animal is the meerkat, a small animal of the mongoose family, fully grown to be slightly less than a feet in height. Many would probably be familiar with Timon from The Lion King, who is a meerkat. Being in the desert, these animals are able to survive without even drinking water. Meerkats get the moisture they need from eating roots, some fruits, and also insects. Also meerkats are immune to and can handle bites from some type of venomous snakes. In some part of the world people prize mongooses as house guards because they can battle with deadly snakes like cobras. If bitten they feel unwell for several hours but make a full recovery. Whereas for us humans on the other hand the venom of the king cobra is so deadly that just 1 gram of it is enough to kill a person 150 times over although humans often think of themselves as quite a lot more powerful than they are for according to the survey carried out in the US by Yugov 23% of men think they can beat a king cobra in a fight also 7% of men and 8% of women believe they can beat a lion in a fist fight We often underestimate the power of the wild, but that's a little too ambitious. Also, when it comes to underestimating, butterflies seem pretty delicate, don't they? Flitting here, flitting there in their gorgeous colors, what could be more delicate and fragile? Appearances are often deceptive. The painted lady, for example, a species of butterfly who routinely migrates between southern Morocco and the Arctic Circle. a round trip of about 17000 kilometers this is a multi generational journey of as many as six generations which is pretty amazing in itself when you consider the sheer distance involved those little fellows weighing less than a gram sustain flight at as much as 30 miles per hour for hours upon hours over seas mountains and desert butterflies are incredible You would have as well probably heard of the so-called butterfly effect, a bit of popularized science that suggests the minor flapping of a single butterfly's wing has the power to set off a string of escalating events that can lead to the formation of a hurricane. Now, to question, can a butterfly really cause a hurricane? Well, no. The statement is not to be taken literally. It's more of a metaphor for how a minute localized change in a complex system can have large effects elsewhere. There are many other myths among the animal world which we believe, such as blind as a bat, but bats aren't blind. They just prefer to use echolocation. Another one being the 3 second memory of a goldfish. 
But again, that's not true. These little guys have a memory span of at least three months. There are plenty of animal myths, but few actually have some logic behind them. For instance, we have heard things like fake like crocodile tears. But why do we say that? The term crocodile tears is derived from the ancient belief that crocodiles weep after killing their victims. But do they? Yes, they do produce tears, but that's only to lubricate their eyes. In fact, humans are the only known species to produce emotional tears. And crocodiles being these brutal reptiles, it only makes sense to call them fake crocodile tears when they tear up after killing a prey. By the way, Nile crocodiles can live up to 100 years and they can do a lot of damage over the course of those 100 years. Approximately 200 people die every year from Nile crocodile attacks. It is said that in order to escape the grip of a crocodile's jaw, push your thumb into its eyeball, it will let you go instantly. Although it's easier said than done. As I said, the wild is tough. Did you know only 5% of cheetah cubs survive into adulthood? A study in the 90s in the Serengeti found that 95% of cheetah cubs died before reaching adulthood. Many deaths were due to lions but also other predators and diseases. Death by diseases are actually quite common in the wild. Also did you know gorillas can catch human colds and other illnesses? That's cause we share around 98% of our DNA with gorillas. But what's different is they are one of the biggest most powerful living primates. Gorillas are stronger than you and me combined. The silverbacks are in fact stronger than 20 adult humans combined as they can lift or throw up to 815 kgs. All gorillas can tear down banana trees without even trying too hard. They have escaped from cages by bending iron bars and have a bite force of around 1300 pounds per square inch, double that of a lion. An attack from a gorilla would be horrifying. But what about something small, like an insect bite? How bad can that be? A person named Smith actually ran an experiment where he tested how painful are different insect bites and he tested those bites on himself. He rated the bites and gave quite a vivid description of them. Like for the Florida harvest and bite, he said, bold and unrelenting. Somebody is using a power drill to excavate your ingrown toenail. And for the giant pepper wasp, he reported, there are gods and they do throw thunderbolts. Poseidon has rammed his trident into your breast. Yep, these are his words. And then there's the bullet ant to which he said, pure, intense, brilliant pain. Like fire walking over flaming charcoal with a 3 inch rusty nail in your heel. Okay, enough about pain. How about something that's adorable and heartful? Starting with squirrels, here's something to make you adore them even more. It's observed that squirrels will adopt other squirrels' baby if they are found abandoned. And it's not just squirrels with these kind acts. But we see such affectionate gestures in parrots as well. Although they may be associated with pirates, but it turns out the African grey parrot are nothing like the infamously greedy, treasure-seeking criminals. Instead, researchers have discovered that these birds will voluntarily help each other obtain food rewards and perform selfless acts. Now, have you ever wondered why do parrots mimic our sound? Well, it's not just parrots, but many other birds as well mimic sounds as a way of socializing in the form of imitation. For these are flock birds and mimicking other birds make them feel like they're a part of the same family of flock. Similarly, parrots in the wild imitate sound of other birds, whereas around humans, they have adapted to repeat our words. For whether in the midst of the forest or among humans, these birds want to and try to be a part of the family. And on that beautiful note, we come to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this video, many more amazing animals video on this channel. 
hit the subscribe button to stay tuned